So um, I am Quincy Lamont, executive director and uh, one of the founding members of Home Guessing. It is with great pleasure that I'm opening up this session. So Home Guessing started back in 2016. Uh, started with the vision of wanting to pull all uh, you know, on houses or people who profess traditional on these that we come out of Ghana, as we all know, from Anayal Paradis, and I'm a queen of Paradis, who I consider to be the mother and father of the Khan culture here in America. Uh, I know that probably was a controversial statement, but it's modern. So, and, that, and that's my feel of money. Um, I want to thank the board members of the Khan who helped in doing this work. Uh, we meet on a regular basis to provide programming for the community. So over the years, uh, the organization has evolved and is changing, and, and rightfully so. Everything should change, things should grow. And uh, a lot of the work that we've done, so we, we really want to bring this together in terms of family. So as a brother said, family. But a family consists of a man and a woman, and we both playing in the development of our community so that the development of our family is developed in our community so that we as a group of people can be that much stronger. So we all know that we are living in the belly of the beast. Every day is a struggle, every day is a fight for your humanity to be a black man walking down the street, going to school, driving, doing whatever it is you're doing. It's a fight every day. But we do give thanks for our ancestors who have protected us in so many ways from the viciousness that uh, occurs in this society. So we have we are blessed in the sense that we do have that connection and we know something is working. We know something is going on. We might not be able to put an exact hand on it, but we know that there are things that are working on our behalf that's keeping a lot of stuff away from us. So we definitely give thanks for that. Um, at a home Cathy, we, we realize there's a lot of work that's done. Um, and we can't do it all. Uh, we're, we're trying to see about building institutions so that our uh, generations that come after us will have something that they can have as a foundation. So just as with Nani Yao, when we started dealing with this over 50 years ago, to a foundation, we are hoping to continue that work in terms of institutionalizing some of the concepts. So in America, we have a lot of homeschool. We have a lot of interesting. And my reason is that was needed for the seeding of what Come, right. um, because those are people who are making a, a commitment on another level, but we need to um, work on the political structure of our organization. Uh, we believe we work on the uh, creating structures that are in place so that we have some foundations that uh, can continue to move us forward. So we have we have work cut out for us. So we cannot do this work alone. We invite everyone who is willing the same mind, the same spirit to help us in terms of doing this work. Um, we understand that people have different callings and different things, but everybody needs to do something. Uh, many hands make light work. That's an African proverb, right? Many hands make light work. The more people that we have involved in terms of doing this work, the better we are. The better we are as uh, a people. The better we are as a group and as a community. So we we thank Richmond for the problem for inviting us down um, as we were doing our planning for the next year. Um, we was like, well, where are we going to go next? What's our next, 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 uh, next spot? So we want to be with those people who want to support what we're doing. So for the audience, for those people who have suggestions as to where we should go next, uh, please talk to any of the board members. And let me acknowledge the board members by name, because we don't, since we're in the public setting, 
So first I have my wife, Angela Moore, who is on the board member team, stand up, raise your hand. Um, she's been with us from the beginning. Um, he serves really as our counsel, um, legal counsel, in terms of keeping me out of trouble. <laughs> so, uh, and, uh, in terms of her role, and then we have Nana Mama Willock, who is she's the most senior, she's the senior person, and she's also been with us, one of the founding um, members of the board. We have um, the Compo Aguitano, uh, she's also one of the serving founding members of the board. Um, she's our secretary. We have brother um, Yao Tiger, um, who's in Africa right now uh, doing some things. We have brother Fabio uh, from home and Fabio from home who, uh, how long you on the board now? Three years now? Uh, uh, two. Actually, yeah, so he's a recent brother, a recent member, and we're a little bit happy to have him bring great energy. Great, great ideas. So we, we're very thankful for them. We have um, Nana someone from home who is our tech guru. Uh, we take care of all our technology. So he's very important to us in terms of the skills that he brings to us. And we also have Alamo um, Vital, Alamo Vital, who is a combo, who he's not here today because her and her family had to do something with their children. But nonetheless, we're happy. Did I miss anybody? Did I get everybody? We're very we're happy for the group that's working with us. We are looking for more people to join us. So if you feel that you are willing and able to do this type of work, please speak to somebody about it so we can you can come to the board and help us do some of this work, some of this planning. So let me um, tell you about some exciting things that have come up. So this year, March 7th, we have home campaign that we started to and we've done it. We're looking at our 10th year anniversary. So we're having discussions about going to some place like Jamaica, Costa Rica, someplace nice where we're going to probably be there for seven days and um, go do three days of the conference. We can enjoy ourselves as a way of just celebrating this work. Um, we know that uh, there's work to be done, but there's also a time for celebration. That's why we have rituals. The rituals allow us to rejuvenate ourselves and reinvigorate ourselves so that we can continue doing what it is we're doing. Uh, and be blaming. No, it's not. It is draining. There's a lot of work that goes into um, the planning and the meeting and pushing people forward. And being in this country, we get pulled so much in so many directions. Right. We got our bills to pay. We got our family to feed. We got our. We, we have so many things going. But easily, it's easy to become distracted or easy to get off track. And that's by design. Uh, last night at our meeting, we were talking about African science. We have African science. Don't let nobody fool us. Uh, our European counterparts would like for you to believe that we don't, and that the stuff that we do is barbaric. It is far from that. Um, and I'll share a personal note that I shared last night with the group at the meeting. We, uh, the last time I was in China, I, I had a shrine built for me. And the way this shrine was built was the shrine. It wasn't no folk, the social type stuff, the things that went into the formation of this spirit. And this is something that I've learned a long time ago. You put this, this, and this together, you get a spirit that comes from it. Our ancestors and our uh, traditionalists, they know the science of creating spirits. And we know the science of creating spirits too because of where we are and the things that we have done so far. So we look at European medicine, for example, I'm going to wrap this up. Um, and we know that if you take this pill or this pill, you will get an effect. But that's a medicine that's using the driving to get that particular effect. They put some structures to it and something that they call 
chemistry or biochemistry or biology or whatever words they want to use to describe it, but it's a science that they use in order to elicit some type of particular effect. Our ancestors have a science too, but it's a little different in that one is secretive. It's not just for everybody. You have specialists who go into these areas to become um, uh, uh, specialists or practitioners or experts in this particular science. So I say that um, to say that you know, we need all aspects of our culture to be full, full human beings, not just one aspect. So we have a lot of work to do, and one of the things that we want to be able to do is to continue to develop that African science using for our people so that we can move forward. My prayer, brother. Thank you, Dr. Dr. One last thing. Um, I'm very, very, very concerned about the legacy of our elders. All of the founding members that have come into the culture from back in the 60s and 50s, they're in their 70s and 80s now. They're not going to be with us forever. For the younger Okonpo, spiritual workers, shrine workers, however you want to call yourself, what are we? I'm saying we, but I'm amongst that group going to do. They have slaves to give us what they were able to do. And now it's time for the master to be passed so that we can take it to another level. But all of this requires unity. I'll say it again. All of this requires unity. It's not about I'm from this Akan house or I'm from that Akan house. This is my Nana, that is your Nana. We are in a fight for our lives here in this country. We are not in Ghana. We are in America. All right. So the things that go out here, when you get out of the police, they're not saying, oh, I'm from here from a hospital house. It could be just a regular old black person right. that's trying to create some problems or whatever it might be. So I say that to say, you know, you know we need to. There's additional things that we need to do in terms of coming together and this tribalism that, that has been that has been developing over the years in terms of this is my house and this is my nana. And I, I'm not trying to take away anything from anybody. So please don't misquote me and like Oquisky Moe is talking about, you know, we got tribes. No, it's none of that. And I tell anybody, if you got a problem with me, you always come talk to me direct. Uh, there's no medicine more powerful than the truth. And that's the medicine that I like to walk with every day. So um, with that being said, I thank you. And we will move on with our program. All right.